Hello dear students, I am Bhupendra Das, I am guest lecturer of electronics in government VYTPG Autonomous College Durg, Chhattisgarh. In this lecture, I will explain the output signal to noise ratio in pulse code modulation from paper 4, unit 5 for MSc Physics, 4th semester students of Hemchand Yadho University Durg, Chhattisgarh. This lecture is related to my previous lecture that is quantization noise output signal power in PCM so if you have not seen my previous lecture at just go and watch my previous lecture first here we can say noise does not mean that additive white Gaussian noise it is a quantization noise so to avoid any confusion in some books they don't write SNR they are directly write SQNR signal to quantization noise ratio so if you problem with SNR signal to noise ratio you can also write SQNR signal to quantization noise ratio if there are L quantization level and n number of bit in each quantization level then the relationship between quantization level and number of bit per sample is l is equal to 2 to the power n you can also write n is equal to log base 2 l now if you know the maximum value of input signal you can find out delta that is step size this expression already I have discussed in my previous lecture so now just substitute the value of L that is 2 to the power n now can you tell why I am using delta here because the quantization error expression is delta square by 12 right now if you place the value of delta you will be getting this expression so simplified what simplified this equation what will you get 4 m max square upon 2 to the power 2n into 12 now 4 and 12 we can simplify it 4 1 ja 4 4 3 ja 12 in the denominator you have 2 to the power 2n when you take in the numerator you have get 2 to the power minus 2n so you will get sigma square is equal to 1 upon 3 mx square into 2 to the power minus 2n this is quantization noise power now I said this is the derivation for signal to noise ratio SNR so here we got the noise power now signal power if you know some signal find out the power that should be the numerator of SNR right now I will calculate SNR for non sinusoidal signal and then I will explain sinusoidal signal so SNR for non sinusoidal signal that is input power divided noise power that is variance now if p denoted average power of message signal m of t then the signal to noise ratio of a uniform quantizer is p 
p divided by sigma square so you just substitute sigma square here we will get this equation this 3 will go to the numerator and 2 to the power minus 2n will also go to the numerator just some rearrangement we get we will get this equation this is SNR for non sinusoidal signal now I am going to calculate SNR for sinusoidal signal if the input signal is sinusoidal signal I am going to find out the power P that will substitute in this equation and simplify the equation to know if signal is sinusoidal signal the power is just amplitude square by 2 now consider a sinusoidal signal m of t is equal to vm cos 2 pi fmt this is periodic signal and periodic signal we can find out the power so the average signal power p is equal to 1 divided by t integration 0 to t m square of t dt here capital t is time period for sinusoidal signal now substitute m of t here see this integration is with respect to t so this is some constant that is taken outside so outside vm square by t we also use relationship cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 so this I have written 1 plus cos 2 2 pi fmt divided by 2 dt this 2 also we can take in outside now first integration is 0 to t 1 dt and second integration is 0 to t cos 4 pi fm t dt now what is integration basically finding the area finding the area of cosine signal for the full period is 0 because there are some positive and negative side you can find out the full area 0 so this integration is 0 now what about the first integral if you will integrate and substitute the upper limit it is just t so this t and this t cancel out so the sinusoidal signal or cosine signal it is just amplitude square by 2 now let me go for generalized equation SNR ratio if you consider a cosine signal the maximum amplitude of this cosine signal is Vm so 
the maximum amplitude of the signal is Vm. Now substitute the value of P and M max in this equation we will get 3 Vm square by 2 into 2 to the power 2n upon Vm square. Now this Vm square and this Vm square cancel out. I will get 3 by 2 into 2 to the power 2n. So usually signal to noise ratio will be representing in term of dB. So SNR in dB is 10 log base 10 SNR. Now instead of SNR I am going to write this equation. So I will get this equation. So you can use log AB is equal to log A plus log B. I am just writing this equation. Now you can also use log a divided by b is equal to log a minus log b so I am just writing this and I am also use log a to the power b is equal to b log a so i am just write this now i am going to put the value of log 3 log 2 and here log 2 after some calculation we will get this equation so this equation is approximately in books so first term is approximated to 1.8 and second term is approximated to 6 so this is the final expression for signal to noise ratio of sinusoidal signal